Uh, good morning. Uh, this is, uh, we're going to make a video here. Uh, we made one yesterday on the uh, Yale lock, friction lock, and I'll turn this around so you can see the back of it. Uh, we had a dial, but it was cut off, uh, stem was cut off so you couldn't see it. But this is a uh, Mosler lock, and it is a friction lock, so we use the same techniques that we used yesterday uh, on the Yale lock. And uh, I'll show you the chart that we run. Uh, we uh, turn uh, all wheels uh, to the right, and this chart uh, comes out of this uh, book. I think I showed this to you yesterday, too. It's uh, National Locksmith uh, Guide to Manipulation. And this chart comes out of there. Uh, it's for a four-wheel. And uh, what we do, we turn uh, all wheels to the right. And then we uh, found that the contact point was about 78. And I had to actually hold on to this thing. Uh, to find the contact point, uh, it was kind of difficult. But we started running uh, every five, I think it was. So we start down here at 100. All wheels right, and we turn back to the left, because that's where you find the right contact point. And we went down through here. Um, we had to do some readjustments uh, here. We marked some X's. Continued down until we got to 20, between 20 and 15, and it actually opened because what I had done, I had, had acquired this lock, and I actually set all the uh, the combination wheels to 50, and on the back, uh, when you take the back off the lock, uh, it usually has LH for left-handed, uh, this is uh, left-handed uh, compared to the index, and then you would, if you had a right-handed lock, if this was turned around, open to the right, it'd be RH. Then you have uh, the upper and down. Uh, but on the back of ours, it didn't have them markings. So I put the keyway in, and uh, all the numbers were set to 50. Well, this thing was actually opening uh, down around 20, so... Uh, you divide 100, which is the number of combinations or the thing on the dial, by 4. And that gives uh, each one of them 90 degrees or about 25. So we were at 50, subtracted 25 because it wasn't marked when we put the keyway in. And uh, we were uh, believing that it was probably 25 down from 50 which would make it at about 25, but as we run it, it uh, actually opened down around 20 to 17 and a half. And uh, that worked out pretty good for us. Uh, the reason I set all of them at 50 is uh, so I could remember them. I didn't want to mark it on the uh, lock itself. But anyway, uh, that's the lax uh, frictional lock on Chapter 5 out of the book. And you can see when they when it opened, and we had all wheels set at 50, we did not have to run, uh, say, a combination at 20 uh, to find out which wheel was indicating because they were all set at 50 to start with. So that wraps up this uh, thing. If you enjoy this, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, like I say, uh, there was no dates on this lock. It's an old lock, and it's really heavy. And I mounted it on plexiglass, and like the one we had before, we used this lamp all thread with nuts and washers to put it together. And as you can see on the side, there's a little bit more spacing, but that's so that we can get this back on and uh, actually tighten it up. Uh, we have room in between there. And we have a couple holes in here. There's a screw over there that holds this plate on. And we can actually secure that. So anyway, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this uh, video. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, try to make some more on down the line. I've got some other locks that uh, are the uh, where the fence actually rides on the wheels. But I think this is the last uh, frictional lock that I have right now. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you all later. Thank you.